Hey YouTube, today I'm going to do a review of my Adirac truck rack. Now I'm going to start off by just going over some of the basics of it and uh, then I'm going to grab the camera and I'm going to move around it and kind of show you some of the particulars. Uh, first of all, just let me say that it's, it's a fairly well-made rack. Um, it's incredibly strong, um, given that it's, uh, the metal is not incredibly thin or thick, but it's an incredible, incredibly strong rack. Um, very impressed with that. Um, I think it'll hold up to 500 pounds um, across the two racks, which aren't, which as you can see, aren't connected by anything. They're just connected to the bed, um, so it can hold uh, about 500 pounds up there. Um, I've never really tested it, but uh, I've, I've seen it uh, online holding uh, quite a bit of weight. Um, I can show you real quick that I can easily. Use it to get up in the truck. You can see. So you can see that it holds holds my weight on one of those no problem. I'm about 185. They don't even bend, they don't even move. Um, they're very sturdy. Um, I paid about I think about three hundred dollars for it. And it's certainly worth it for that price. But, uh, so I paid about that much. I bought it from Realtruck.com. And, uh, you know, I got nothing but good things to say about them. They were, uh, their price was good, the shipping was fast, and the staff was very helpful. And uh, I'll tell you why in a little bit. So, <clears throat> let me grab the camera here, and I'm just going to go through a bunch of stuff about it. And hopefully that'll uh, help you out if you're thinking about buying one of these things. Okay, so let me first go over installation. <clears throat> uh, this thing's it's fairly easy to assemble. It anchors to the stake pockets that are already built into the, the uh, sides of your pickup truck bed. Um, I didn't mention that uh, this is Chevy Silverado 1500. I've got the extended cab. So it's got about a six and a half foot bed. Uh, they make these guys for any bed that you have, um, and it, it fit it fit perfectly <coughs> right out of the box. So um, to install these things, it can be a little bit tricky. They give you these strings here. You have to drop um, washers down into and a nut down into the stake pocket, and then you screw these bolts in from up on top. I will tell you though that you, one thing you have to be prepared for is as you can see right here when you pop the little plastic you pop the plastic insert out that covers the stake pocket you can kind of see it back there um, it leaves a gap between the bottom of this rail on the rack and the top of the bed liner I have a bed liner that's built right into this truck came with it so um, plus it has these most trucks have these plastic um, I don't you call them like bumpers on the top of the bed for scratches and stuff so once you take that cover off, you have to put a washer in here to make up the difference. Otherwise, when you tighten this bolt down, it sucks the um, the the rail this rail down too far, and it can kind of it can distort it. <clears throat> and I'll get to, I'll tell you more about, more about that in a second. Um, <clears throat> so it's pretty cool. One of the things I liked about it the most was the amount of tie downs that it has. I mean. Basically, you have the entire length of the bed of the truck, and all those slots in that rail can be used as tie downs. It's also got tie downs going all the way up the support arms. That's, that's the brand. That's the brand right there, Adirac. <clears throat> and all of these arms do is these supports do is they just bolt to any one of these holes along this rail. I have them as far apart as they can go. So. Um, I also purchased the optional load dividers. These are these aluminum dividers up here. And uh, I think they're about $25 a pair. And I got four of them. So um, they're nice. I, I like them. It really helps out a lot. When you put something up there, it really helps to have something to be able to push it against. And you don't have to leave them on there all the time. They're easy to take on and off. But I just do. 
just in case I'm out and about and I need to bring something home. <clears throat> so one of the complications that I ran into in installing this was most of these pickup trucks are the bed is a little wider at the cab than it is at the back end maybe by an inch or two and so getting these so that 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 stainless galvanized bar up there the crossbar was equidistant sticking out both ends and so that they were the right distance apart to bolt to the rail um, that took some doing i had to lay it down on the garage floor and keep measuring and measuring and measuring and eventually i got it but that was probably the most difficult thing and it <clears throat> probably took about 15 minutes other than that it's very straightforward install now <clears throat> one of the things i wanted to comment about about the strength is that um, it can take it can take some abuse and I know that because when I first put it on my truck I hit the ceiling of a parking structure a parking ramp with it um, I don't think it was I don't think it was my fault they had the signs <laughs> were posted incorrectly and it wasn't actually the rack that hit it was one of the load dividers and all it did was it just bent it down like a taco and I just bent it back but it moved the whole truck when I hit it and uh, the rack was fine it didn't affect the rack at all and I just bent the load divider back and it's the one in that it's actually this one in the front corner here and you can hardly even tell I just pounded it out with a hammer <clears throat> so so it's very strong and uh, another thing I liked about it was I kind of like that it had a little sleeker profile. I've seen some of these other racks where they're they're square for one thing, and I liked how the Adirac it follows the curve of the cab, so it kind of looks like it matches the truck a little bit better. Some of the ones that are straight square tubes or whatever sticking straight up, they um, I thought they kind of looked a little gaudy, so I like the fact that it does that. Um, one thing I should, uh, another thing that I liked about it is that it doesn't stick up incredibly high. I mean, this part, the crossbar, sticks up about six inches above the roof of the cab. And the load divider is another four inches up. So it's about ten inches from the roof of the cab to the top of the load divider. And I thought that was nice because when you don't have anything on there, it kind of makes it look a little bit lower profile as opposed to some of the bigger racks that stick way up. And I have no trouble. I put a la I can put a ladder on there. I can put lumber up there, whatever. And it doesn't, it doesn't come close to the cab. So it works great for that, and it certainly holds the weight. Now, one of the primary reasons why I bought this rack was because... Now that I have this pickup truck, I, uh, I needed a way to transport my canoe. And as you see, it's like a six and a half foot bed. And that bed only accommodates, I mean, my canoe is 16 feet long. So it'd be sticking out of the bed 10 feet. And I don't want it to be sticking up above the roof, all that. I didn't want to do anything hokey to try and get the canoe to sit on the truck. So <clears throat> what I liked about this one is I could set the canoe up there um, and uh, it doesn't have a high profile but the problem is is that I couldn't find any pictures or videos online of anybody loading a full-size canoe onto this thing I could find plenty of other racks that they show people doing that with I couldn't find anybody doing it with this rack but I bought it anyways because I liked it and I figured I would work with it um, in, in dealing with putting the canoe up there. And what I found was, <clears throat> when I actually did put the canoe on here, and I'll show you. It's my canoe over here. You can see the bow of the canoe actually, when it's sitting on something flat, like those sawhorses I have it on, the bow of the canoe actually sticks down lower than the gunnels on the side of the canoe. So what that means is that when it's sitting up on the rack, 
the first time I put it up there, the nose of the canoe actually scraped the roof of the cab. So that turned out to be a little bit of a problem, but I came up with a pretty easy solution so that I could put the canoe up there and just gain a couple of inches. So I'll show you that. I'll show you that right now. One second here. Let me get the camera right. Okay. All I did was I just fabricated something out of some pressure treated lumber and I just set it up on top of the crossbar just like this. This is it. It's just a piece of a couple pieces of lumber screwed together. I just stick that up there and it gives me the extra inch and a half of uh, clearance and that's enough for the bow of the canoe to not scrape the roof of the cab. Whoops. Now, as far as the, um, I was talking about the service from Realtruck.com, um, when I initially had this delivered, I received it and these rails on the side were actually bowed. Uh, both of them were. And I could actually look from here and I could see light underneath the rail. And so and you, it was an obvious, an obvious bow in them. So after working with Real Truck for a little bit, they passed me off to Adirac and their parent company. And after dealing with them for a little bit, I just had to send them photographs of it. And they asked me some questions about how hard I torqued the bolts and stuff. I said, I don't know. I torqued them till they were tight. I don't torque. I don't put a torque wrench on them, but apparently if you tighten these too much, it can push, it can push the rail inward on both ends, which can bow it. But that wasn't the case because I took them off of there and they were bowed, you know, right out of the box. I noticed it immediately. Um, so anyways, after, after a little bit of back and forth with the company, they ended up sending me two new rails uh, free of charge and didn't even ask me to send back the other ones so I have those two but uh, but either way um, <clears throat> it's nice and straight now and and, uh, and it's doing fine so I've had this rack now for about a, I've had it for about a year I put it on my truck about a year ago and I've used it a few times and I just wanted to the only thing um, the only complaints that I might have about this rack are I mean, it is a $300 rack. You have to keep that in mind. And as you can see, some of the, you know, the the bolts they give you, they're already starting to rust and starting to see some evidence. <clears throat> starting to see some evidence of some corrosion. Um, I'm guessing that this powder coating, whatever, is going to be peeling off in the next year. Um, <clears throat> just basic stuff. You know, you see, you can see signs of some rust coming through where the welds are. And, obviously, these bolts are rusty. Um, so, but I leave it on here all the time. It's gone through a winter. And so, <clears throat> you know, I guess I just expected that. It's not that expensive. The other thing that's um, a drawback to it, but may also be an advantage, is that there's no way to actually like lock it to the truck um, so if you live in an area where theft could be prevalent um, anybody with a 916 socket could just pop these off real could pop those off and take your your uh, whatever you call these uprights uh, the supports you could t they could take that they could just take the whole thing away um, they could also just unscrew this so basically they a couple of guys with 916 wrenches and a cordless drill could probably remove this rack in about five minutes and be on their way. Um, <clears throat> hasn't happened to me yet, obviously, but it's a concern. That, in a sense, might be not so good, but it also provides an advantage in that when I hit this 
with the parking ramp with this thing, um, I was going to visit a friend who was in the hospital, and so I went back to visit him a couple times after that, and when I went back, I could easily just remove these bolts, and I can take the rack right off easily. Like, I, it literally takes, like, ten minutes to take the five minutes to take it off, maybe ten minutes to put it all back on. And these rails, you know, you just unbolt these, and they come off, and it comes off, it comes off all in one piece. Uh, and you can leave, and you just... The, the uprights rather come off all in one piece and you can just leave I just leave the rails bolted right to the bed so <clears throat> So that's one good thing, you know, it's bad for theft maybe but it's really good in that you can remove it real quickly if you have to in fact the time when I hit the parking ramp um, I took this the load dividers off and it actually did fit under the parking ramp, but I wasn't completely sure so I just got the socket wrench out of the back of the truck and I literally just took those off, threw them in the bed and didn't have to worry about when I drove out of the parking parking ramp. So um, that's pretty much it. Um, I, I think that's pretty much all you need to know about this particular rack. Um, it's again, it's a good it's a good rack for the price. It's only about $300. Um, the the steel i mean you can see that you know it's it's probably quarter inch quarter inch gauge steel on these things i mean that's that's pretty beefy um so it, it easily holds the 500 pounds um i've never tested it like i said but i'm sure it would <clears throat> um other than that i think that's pretty much it So I think that's pretty much it. Um, I would recommend it um, if you just need a rack that you want to use for casual use. If you're a contractor who's always hauling a lot of heavy gear and it's going to be put through a lot of abuse, I probably wouldn't get this one. But for the casual user like myself who's going to use it to transport a canoe or a kayak or maybe occasional pieces of lumber or ladder or something, it's perfect. And um, for $300, it's showing some signs of weathering, but it's been on there for a year and it's been subject to the weather. I parked the truck outside, so I'm not really surprised at that. And I, it's still structurally sound, and I suspect that even at its current rate of rusting, it's still going to last another two, three, four years before I even have to worry about anything, you know, changing bolts or anything like that. Otherwise, um, I hope this helped, and again, if you're thinking about this product, you know, I, I definitely recommend it.